Next uh, speaker we have is uh, Mr. Guy Medaglia, um, a new uh, entrant to our to our community here, and we, we are delighted to have him here. A quick bio on uh, on Mr. Medaglia. He was appointed uh, President and Chief Executive Officer uh, in July of 2010 of St. Anthony Hospital right here in Chicago. And prior to that, uh, Mr. Medaglia's appointment, he was uh, with it was a managing director with FDI Healthcare and numerous other organizations I had to apologize to him. His uh, bio was too long, so I had to truncate it. And prior to that, very senior executive roles. He's a very accomplished uh, healthcare executive. We're delighted that he's here. Would you please join me in welcoming uh, Mr. Guy Vidalia here to speak on uh, the mission for the underserved and the importance of community development. Please. Thank you. Um, I was uh, approached by Dr. Kaleem Malik, who is our chairman for the Department of Emergency Medicine, you know, to come to this event tonight. And obviously the first thing I did was look up Humanity First. And um, I have to tell you, I was absolutely amazed by the accomplishment. One of the first questions I asked was, based on all the people that have benefited from this organization, why didn't I know about it? This is truly a great organization. Now, I'm not up here to promote the organization. That's not actually why I came. I came because of the fact that actually, I, I don't mean to correct people, but um, I'm not an accomplished healthcare executive. I, I, wish, I wish I was. Um, I spent my career in the corporate world, in the for-profit organizations, and, um, and I came out of the inner city. I grew up the uh, son of uh, immigrant families. Uh, when I was growing up, uh, um, we were the ones that were picked on, the Italians. So I'm a little bit older, okay? You know, that, uh, that has passed. But at one point in time, you know, kids weren't allowed to play with me because I was associated with the Mafia, I was associated with uh, murders and uh, thieves, and so I grew up understanding that it's tough to be different. So, you know, I moved into, I wanted to get out of where I lived. It was important to me. I fought hard to get out, and unfortunately, I never looked back until one day, something happened, and uh, I found myself faced in an inner city environment again, seeing people like my parents, who worked three and four jobs, didn't have health care. Really, no one cared about who they were. The corporate environment considered communities that St. Anthony serves and other communities as a throwaway community. It doesn't bring real value to their corporations. They don't want to hire their people. They really don't want to invest in trying to educate them or get them into skills that maybe could benefit their organizations. So, you know, we forget, we forget a lot about what we don't see and what we don't know about. And so, um, I left the corporate world. Um, I um, left a lot behind. Uh, with the family understanding, you know, the mission. Now I have to tell you, um, I don't expect anybody to, uh, you know, feel sorry for me leaving money on the table and, you know, a nice lifestyle behind because of the fact that there's more to that. And, you know, when I hear about doctors, I hear the stories here, I have to tell you, I feel like I've done nothing, absolutely nothing. So I tend to be a person of action. What I'm going to do when I leave here, actually as I'm driving home, I'm going to begin making some phone calls. I need to let people know about humanity first. I need to let people know that there are organizations out there that are helping people. So, you know, in the corporate world, okay, um, and I'm sure that there are people in the room very similar, you know, you strive to get on the Philharmonic board. You want to be invited into the boards of these beautiful museums. It gives you status. Maybe it gives you a little bit of power. But at the end of the day, I would much rather 
serve people that need help versus being a little superficial. So, um, you know, um, I was with the governor Thursday night, and uh, we had um, a very, very detailed talk, and I was talking to him very similar about that, and he was trying to get me to understand that I was causing trouble for his re-election. So, you know, when I get an applause, I, I have to tell you, the governor wasn't applauding me at all, actually. I, I have a tendency, Dr. Dr. Malik will tell you, of being a little bit of a troublemaker. But, but I will tell you this. Um, I see faces. Can we talk about faces? You, you know, numbers, okay, whether it's your checkbook or, you know, uh, you know, your uh, uh, money manager, okay, numbers are great, okay? And even with the governor, I said to him, I understand you have a numbers problem, but you haven't seen faces. You haven't seen people that truly need help. So, and Dr. Malik has, I mean, oftentimes, you know, he'll take a sock off of, you know, a homeless person and their toes will come off. I want you to think about that. We need to get out and, and really let people know that there's a greater cause than themselves and need to pull people into organizations such as this that truly make a difference for people and, and by the way i know we're talking about guatemala and we're talking about you know uh overseas but this organization also takes care of people in the united states as well and where i come from i think there should be no boundaries people are people and individuals that need help should be helped by those that can give. Now, I'm not a surgeon, I'm not a doctor, okay, but I've been blessed. I've accumulated a little bit of money. So, you know, tonight before I leave, I'm going to make sure I leave a little bit on the table. And then I'm going to make my phone calls when I go back. So, all I could ask you is this. Whatever little you can give, please give. If you can give a lot, please give. But in the end, let other people know that organizations like this exist and how important they are for those that don't have what you have. So, that's all I have to give today. Thank you very much.